If you logged into Locast, you were greeted with a message just like this, the free streaming service shut down. Hello, welcome to the channel. A lot to talk about today. And Locast began notifying its subscribers about the suspension of its operations the morning of September 2nd, 2021. Also this, a news release, let me read it to you, it's very short. As a nonprofit, Locast was designed from the very beginning to operate in accordance with the strict letter of the law. But in response to the court's recent rulings, which we respectfully disagree, we are hereby suspending operations effective immediately. And the suspension of Locast service happened just one day after another email. If you're a subscriber, you may have gotten this one too. In it, Locast said it was going to stop the interruptions for donation requests, also effective immediately. And in this email, it also explained what happened in court a little bit earlier in the week. The bottom line in this battle between the four major broadcast networks and Locast, it was a bad week for Locast in court, and the judge ruled against Locast on its copyright defense. At this point, we just don't know if or when Locast may resume operations, but it's not looking good. The case could go to trial later this year or early next year. That was reported as early as this week. Deadline got some reaction from the lawyers from the big four networks. Those are the ones who've been suing Locast. And the attorney described the court ruling from August 31st as a victory for copyright law and said they're going to seek a permanent injunction against Locast. So we got the news out of the way. Let's talk about the big picture and how money is behind it all. If you didn't know, broadcast TV networks make money from advertising, but also from retransmission fees that they charge the cable, satellite, and live TV streaming services. So if you've ever had cable and seen a local broadcast TV fee on your bill, that explains why. And those fees also explain why, even when you download the apps for the big four networks, some content requires a pay TV login. So without Locast, the options for broadcast TV are two extremes. Let me explain. First, you can watch the networks over the air with an antenna. But if an antenna doesn't work where you live, option two is to pay 65 bucks a month or more for a live TV streaming service just to get locals. YouTube TV and Hulu Live are two of them that carry all the local channels. Locast may not survive this, and really it's hard to see how it does. But its popularity, more than 3 million users, proves that people want another way to access their local channels without an antenna. And most frustrating of all is that the big four networks could do this on their own if they wanted to. In fact, some of them already are, but not free of charge. An example is Paramount Plus. With its $10 a month plan, you do get access to a live feed of your local CBS station. And then there's Peacock, that's owned by NBC Universal. It doesn't offer live access to your local NBC station, but it will stream live events and just announced that it'll stream Sunday Night Football and even the Super Bowl to paying subscribers of its service. So as long as the big four networks are able to collect those retransmission fees, there really doesn't seem to be a motivation for them to offer free access to local channels through a streaming service. So for now, here are some of your low cast alternatives. First, an indoor or outdoor antenna. This is the best way to go if an antenna works where you live because it's just a one-time cost. You can go to antennaweb.org to get antenna recommendations. Also, cable, satellite, or my preference, live TV streaming services that have no contract or hidden fees. YouTube TV is my number one pick. It has all your locals. Unfortunately, Sling TV, the budget pick, doesn't carry all the local stations. Also, this Paramount Plus, I just mentioned it, the premium plan has a live feed of your local CBS station, 10 bucks a month. There's also Hulu On Demand. For years, it has made a lot of TV shows from the various broadcast networks available to stream the next day. Not live TV, on demand, and it's only $6 a month. The big four networks all have their own apps, and they let you stream some shows on demand, but again, they may require a paid TV login for others. And if local news is what you're after, go to your favorite station's website or mobile app. Some stations also have apps for your TV, so you can watch them right from your Roku. Disappointing what's happened with Locast, and disappointing that in 2021, you need a piece of equipment like this to watch free local TV when you could be streaming it just like everything else. I've got some upcoming videos in the works to help you watch the best of broadcast TV, even if you don't have an antenna 
or a pay TV subscription. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to watch on the Big Four Networks, and I'll see you soon.